Now it's time to hook the pumps up, so we gotta undo that. All that wonderful detritus that's left behind. I don't know whoever said duct tape is the right way to do this, but they're an idiot, whoever they are. That one worked well. As you can tell, the winter was real kind to that. Just get rid of that. Now I gotta put the gauge in there, which we'll get to. And if you wanna come around over here, we have the other fittings to untape, which again, looks like they did a excellent job in putting some El Cheapo duct tape on. You do wanna be very careful when pulling this off because these are unions and they should have O-rings in half of them. And this one, it came along with the thing, so we gotta stick that back in. Need that O-ring. So I don't think the uh, the stickum is good for it, but there it's in. It's back. Now we'll get rid of this one. So that's that. blindly because duct tape apparently fixes everything. Hey Bobby, it's time for pool closing season. Order me 12 cases of duct tape. What do you need that for? To close the pool. And we keep peebling. More duct tape. There's no o-ring on this side of the union, so it should be on the pump end, which is there on the front of it. That black ring right there is the o-ring. And the top uh, part of the o-ring, I'm not sure where that is yet, we'll find out in a minute. We're going to peel the one last thing off. here that so I'm gonna put that back in and what we're also going to do before anything else is we're gonna lube up all the mating surfaces so here under here there's one under over here somewhere and here and all of the pump surfaces especially where the unions are where you screw them on so I'm gonna do that to save you the trouble of watching that and then we'll be back with uh, part 87 of uh, hooking up the pumps. Damn, fucking button. What the hell is that? To do a minor repair to the electrical box here, the uh, screw that was here that you could see in there. And this one, no, I did not strip that. I had it already pre-stripped for me down there. Uh, I installed that because I really don't care because it's only going to rust out and rot out again. What happened was where it comes through into the thing, you can see it right here. The wood is given way, but the screws themselves turn to rust. So I had to put other screws in and because the holes were kind of there, it didn't matter if that was stripped, it worked anyway. So, first thing I want to do is just test the gold line control. So we got to just put on a breaker, which should be that one. We'll open this up. We have a flashing green light. I don't know if that's good. Oh, it's on solid now. We'll go manual test. 
And there we go. So we'll let that open, I'll run it back, and then we'll put the pumps in. Okay, the part I dread every year, putting in the pump. I have the uh, plugs in, everything lubed up. I put my gauge back in the filter. And because this pool was built around the pumps, what that means is they put the pumps in place and then built all the plumbing around it. So it makes it impossible to do anything, including work on it. As you can see right here, this was a big blunder because that don't fit under there. So now I got to turn it sideways to get it past there. Something like that. And then come back around over here. Get the wire out of the way. Just shove it somewhere. Nope. And then it's got to go back and upright in there. And that's why you don't put, don't build the plumbing around the pumps. Because that's one. So, let me just get the lube off of my hands for a moment. And uh, we'll just start this. Now, I have reason to believe that this one here was leaking last year. So, Start that, and now I got it right there. Just get it right in position, and now hope that I can get this one to grab. I also don't know exactly which way it has to turn. I believe this way. That looks about right. There we are. Switch back. The idea with the O-rings before is you want to make sure that those O-rings meet up with the other surface. That's what makes your seal and it's supposed to prevent leaking. BFPs. I need a bigger gun. Let's try that. That's too big. Let's try that. There. That's tight. Just a little more. That's it. This one is pretty well tight. Tight. Drop. And always tighten it later. This has to get plugged in. Just run the cord through here. And this one goes up in here. Twist the lock. The wire goes in. And now we go to the next pump. Put this here. This one is not nearly as hard to put in. But still cumbersome, of course. Something like that. And now, 
we got to get these fittings together. So, let's see. I'm trying to think where to start. We'll go with this one. That slides up and over. This is one of those old fittings, the one that snapped on me. Everything broke. And this I have two couplers on for when one breaks, like it did. Put that in. Now, we'll get the pliers again. Right there. And this one is tight by hand with the wrench. No, nope, not yet. That's it. I don't want to even try anymore because of what may happen. Okay, time for a little break and we'll fire them up. Okay, we're ready to give this a shot. First thing we're going to do is open up the main drain. Probably hear air, all kinds of stuff. Good, that's a good sign. Now you will take your yard and hose, place that judiciously in the basket, and we will turn on said water. We're going to allow that to flow. It's going to fill and it's gonna send water through here and fill up the main drain, that whole line going all the way. So it's gonna take some time while it does that. And once that's full, it may overflow, it may not, but just leave it run for a couple of minutes. And once we do that, we'll come back and we'll fire it up. 